In a significant milestone for Russia's defense industry, the Typhoon PVO Mobile Short Range Air Defense System has successfully completed its state trials and is now entering mass production, marking a leap forward in bolstering the nation's air defense capabilities. This cutting-edge combat vehicle, developed by the Izyevsk Electromechanical Plant Kupol under the Almaz Ante Air Defense Concern, is poised to enhance the Russian Armed Forces' ability to counter modern aerial threats with unparalleled mobility, protection, and firepower. The announcement, made by Kupol's Director General Fanil Ziadinov, underscores Russia's commitment to maintaining a robust defense posture in an increasingly complex global security landscape. The Typhoon PVO is a specialized combat vehicle designed to support operators of manned portable air defense systems manpads, addressing the evolving challenges of contemporary warfare. With the proliferation of unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, low-flying aircraft and micro-drones, modern battlefields demand agile and well-protected air defense solutions. The Typhoon PVO rises to this challenge offering a platform that combines high mobility, enhanced crew protection, and the ability to engage a wide range of aerial targets effectively. Built on the proven Kamaz 4386 chassis, a variant of the Typhoon VDV platform, the vehicle is engineered for versatility and resilience. Its 350-horsepower diesel engine, automatic transmission, and independent hydro-pneumatic suspension allow it to navigate diverse terrains, from rugged battlefields to urban environments, at speeds up to 100 km per hour. The armored hull, constructed with ceramic armor and steel, provides ballistic protection against 12.7 mm bullets and can withstand explosions of up to 6 kg of TNT, ensuring crew safety in high-threat scenarios. The Typhoon PVO is equipped to carry nine man pads, including the advanced Verba 9K333 system, which is renowned for its three spectral homing warheads operating in ultraviolet, short, and medium infrared bands. This technology enhances target acquisition, enabling the interception of low signature threats such as drones, helicopters, and cruise missiles at ranges of 500 to 6,000 meters in altitudes up to 3.5 kilometers, with targets moving at speeds of up to 420 meters per second. The vehicle's integration with higher echelon command systems, such as the Torum 2 air defense system, allows it to receive real-time targeting data, making it a vital component of Russia's multi-layered air defense network. Additionally, the Typhoon PVO features a turret-mounted 12.7mm cord heavy machine gun, designed to counter micro-drones that are too costly to engage with guided missiles. The vehicle's ability to fire both the machine gun and man pads while moving at speeds of up to 20 km per hour ensures operational flexibility, allowing crews to engage threats without leaving the armored hull. This capability is critical in dynamic combat environments, where rapid response times can mean the difference between success and vulnerability. Two roof hatches facilitate seamless operation for the machine gunner and man pads operator, while digital and voice communication systems, along with automated targeting, enhance situational awareness and coordination. The development of the Typhoon PVO reflects Russia's dedication to self-reliance and innovation in defense technology. Initiated by Kupol at its own expense, the project was driven by the Air Defense Forces Directorate of the Ground Forces, which sought a cost-effective solution to modernize MANPADS units. Unlike earlier systems that relied on standard trucks or infantry fighting vehicles, the Typhoon PVO offers a purpose-built platform that significantly improves mobility, protection, and combat effectiveness. Its debut at the 2021 Victory Day Parade in Moscow and successful performance in the 2019 Clear Sky Competition in China, where Russian crews completed a challenging 9.5-kilometer obstacle course while engaging targets, demonstrate its readiness for real-world operations. Fanil Zyatinov highlighted the system's impact, stating, the Typhoon PVO's transition to serial production will not only increase our plant's capacity, but also provide significant benefits to our armed forces on the battlefield. 
This achievement is a testament to Russia's ability to deliver advanced military solutions under stringent timelines, reinforcing its position as a global leader in defense innovation. The system's potential deployment in conflicts such as Russia's special military operation in Ukraine further highlights its strategic importance. Reports suggest the Typhoon PVO has already seen combat use in Syria, proving its effectiveness in real-world conditions. Its ability to protect troops on the move and counter emerging aerial threats aligns with Russia's broader military modernization efforts, ensuring its forces remain prepared for both conventional and unconventional challenges. As the Typhoon PVO enters mass production, it represents a pivotal step in strengthening Russia's air defense capabilities. Its combination of mobility, protection, and advanced targeting systems positions it as a cornerstone of the nation's short-range air defense strategy. By equipping its forces with this innovative platform, Russia reaffirms its commitment to safeguarding its skies and supporting its allies worldwide. The successful completion of state trials and the move to serial production mark a proud moment for Russia's defense industry. The Typhoon PVO stands as a symbol of technological prowess and strategic foresight, ready to defend against the threats of today and tomorrow. As production ramps up, this combat vehicle will undoubtedly play a critical role in ensuring Russia's security and reinforcing its reputation as a global leader in air defense innovation.